Hey everyone, it is Jack again with Toy Dojo, and today we're going to be taking a look at the FT20 Fans Toys Terminus Giganticus. That is Fans Toys' take on a masterpiece styled Omega Supreme. As you can see, it's going to be coming in two separate pieces, as we all know. Uh, one's going to have the uh, tank with the tracks and all that, the other one's going to have the legs and the arms. So take a look at the boxes there. They are quite large, or I should say styrofoam inserts, side to side. They are about 15 and a half inches and top to bottom they are about 17 and a half inches from top to bottom right there. So quite large pieces. Now why Fans Toys decided to put them as two separate pieces rather than one? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it has something to do with the shipping or what the case may be. But uh, that is what they are doing. So obviously we need to get both pieces to complete the uh, figure. Now, DX9 is also doing theirs, and theirs will be in one piece, so be interested to see when that one comes out, what it looks like. Uh, this one obviously is an early look at it, um, so at that, some things may change, but it looks almost final, so maybe not. Uh, there are some things that they can probably do just to make it just a little bit better, just certain small things um, to improve upon, but we'll see when the final one comes out. So we're going to go ahead and just pull these uh, open and take a look at it inside the packaging. Or styrofoam casing, I should say. I'm gonna lay these up here so the pieces don't fall out when I do open them up. So get that one out of the way. Get this one out of the way. And styrofoam, you either love it or you hate it. Me personally, I love it because it, when it ships, it takes care of the figures. All right, so on the left side there, we have the main tank part, we have the backpack piece. We have a replacement chest piece that is this piece right here. And then we have this piece which is going to cover the crotch section. And then the tracks which also double as the wings if you will. Then over there we got the rocket slash arms and then the two legs. So quite large but obviously as you can see you really aren't going to do much if you only have one of the box sets. So either you get the one box set and you kind of just let it chill and hang out. Or wait for the boat to come out and then get it. Um... That's going to be up to you to decide, so. Alright, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to pop them out and get them all put down and then we'll start uh, messing with them. Alright, so there he is out of his uh, styrofoam inserts now. Uh, as you can see, he comes in pieces. He is a parts former, but then again, he's supposed to be. Uh, in the G1 cartoon, whenever he was transforming, everything would come off and he parts formed. So, realistically, he's supposed to be a parts former. So, anyways, taking a look at those legs over there. You can see that they're actually a large set of legs. Uh, just for some comparison, there is MP10 in front of the legs. And you can see just how large those legs are. I'm also going to bring in Fans Toys uh, Phoenix, or their take on Jetfire, Skyfire, whatever you want to call him. And if you have this figure, you know how large he is. And so, they are almost as tall as he is. So just to show you how massively tall this guy is going to be when it's all said and done. Uh, he rivals Fort Max and uh, Metroplex. So we'll show a size comparison on when he's done. Uh, I think he sh may be out of scale with them, considering, well, I, okay, let me stop there, because Fans Toys is going for their own scale, uh, scale size. Now Hasbro, they went with their own scale size. Uh, obviously they made Metroplex way too big. Uh, Four Max is about right, considering he's supposed to be the tallest of all these guys. But uh, Fans Toys, now if they decide to do their own Metroplex, Fort Max and all these guys, it'll be crazy to see because they essentially should make them a lot taller. I would think that they would make uh, Metroplex maybe two and a half feet tall and then uh, Fort Max three feet tall if they made him. I doubt that's going to happen, but that'd be ridiculously crazy if they did. So anyways, um, but going along with the Hasbro guys, I think he is too tall because he's not supposed to be as tall as Metroplex and Fort Max. Now I will say he does fit in well when he's combined. He fits in very well with the Tor World Devastator. <coughs> Excuse me. So, all right. We're going to go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to put him first into his... Uh, we'll do his base mode or his little rocket ship mode. And then from there, we'll put him into his robot mode. So starting with that, well, first let's take a look at these. Before I'm getting ahead of myself here. So this is the extra piece that if you don't like, there's a... This for his crotch, and it's gray, but if you don't like that, this red piece will cover up that crotch piece, and that's what this is for here. Then we have this extra piece right here, which this one actually came on the figure when I got it, 
but uh, I took it off and I put the, the solid red one on. So you got this translucent red plastic one that goes on, or like I said, the solid red one. So there's those two pieces there. And let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first things first, coming out of the container, this piece here, which is the backpack, uh, you don't need to do anything to it because it's already transformed up into what you need it for as far as for the spaceship uh, mode there. So looking at this, uh, it's nice gray plastic with some yellow plastic up here. Die cast metal, there's a lot of die cast metal in this figure. It's mainly not so much like the feet or the arms or anything like that, but it's all these pieces that are inside like this uh, that are die cast metal. So all these parts that have like hinges and stuff like that are all die cast metal, making them relatively heavy. And this die cast here is really cool. So they have it actually molded pretty cool. So that's like a pretty cool design right there um, on both of them. So really neat. Uh, and then this all here is like printed on the plastic. It's not painted or it's not, uh, what do you call it? It's not a sticker. And there's a word for it, but I honestly just don't remember what it's called uh, when they do that. So that's cool. Uh, so we're going to get this piece, put it off to the side. And we'll first start with the two arms, which are going to make up the rocket. So now, this figure is not perfect by any means. And so we'll kind of talk about that along the way as far as what I think. Uh, maybe could have done a little bit more work on it or changed a little bit. So first things first, this top piece. So these here are supposed to peg in right there. So if we look at that, you got that little peg and it goes in those slots right there. But they don't hold in very well. I mean, it does okay, but they end up coming off, you know, on their own. So they don't tab in super well. So hopefully that's something that they can fix on the final one uh, before it's released. So anyway, so getting this, you wanna pull this up just like that, extend it out all the way. And you're gonna see the same thing. Those are gonna tab in there. And that way you can keep this thing up in his spaceship mode. So tab them all in like that, all four of them like this. And there you got one piece. And again, more nice detailing on this thing. Uh, you got some silver here. You got that same kind of uh, stamp on there. More here. So really, really cool looking. I like the way this looks uh, right here. Looks really nice. It goes like that. All right. So we got one piece there. Put that up here. And grab the other one. And this is going to be the bottom portion. And so inside this one is where the LED is. Um, you can take this off if you want to turn it on. Or alternatively, you just open this up like this. And right inside there, you can see it, is the little switch. And you just flip that on. And that'll turn the LED light on right there. So let's turn that off just for now. And that's the inside there, and that just closes up just like that. Just like that. All right, zoom out. And this is really simple. All you gotta do is take this, you line up these two pegs with those right there, you line up these two slots with those two longer pegs right there, and then just connect that. And that's gonna make up his rocket ship, if I can do it. Come on, man. There we go. Man, it took me longer than I should have. All right, so there's a rocket ship. And again, to show how tall he is, I'm gonna bring in Phoenix, because a lot of stuff is large. And so, you can see a rocket ship is taller than Phoenix, even at his tallest, which is the top of his backpack there. It's a pretty good sized rocket ship. All right, next we're just gonna go ahead and take the tracks and open them up. We'll set this off to the back here. Take these, you're just gonna flip them open like this. Like that. There you got one side. Take this one, open this one up like this. And there is the other side. And again, nice detailing work on these as well. A lot of nice silver gray uh, paint accents there. So there's the tracks. We'll get the tank last. Um, I really like the tank. Let me get him last. I'm going to get what I believe is the most difficult part, and that is these legs. Those legs there are just uh, the hardest part of this. And so, and I wouldn't say maybe it's not hard, 
more that it's um, just a real pain, I should say. Um, just some of the clearances and things like that. So, all right, starting up here, we're gonna take this, just pull this out like this, and that's gonna allow you to open this, these two halves up, because these two halves open up, but these tab in over these slots, so in order to get this open, you do have to unpeg this front piece like that. Then you can start sliding everything open like this, and you can see that's gonna flip out like that. And take this open like this. And pull these pieces like that, there you go. We'll pull those like that. And it opens this all up like this. And we're gonna take this, this is gonna be part of the uh, thing to go right in front of there. So let's do that, we'll mess with that in a little bit. I'll go ahead and start. Now, this is where the fun, if you will, begins. The first time we finish doing this one here, just to get it apart. Again, pull this like so, flip this open like this, get these two pieces, open it up, and then just pull this foot out like this, and get that off to the side. All right, so this, this is gonna be the center part of the tracks right there. And this is the part that is a little finicky, if you will. So you want to start by opening up these here. And you flip these down like this. All the while you got to get this. This is going to flip over and feed into here like this. So in order to do that, take this and you want to get this, flip this bottom piece out like this, like that. And you got to get this up like this. And that's all going to flip over inside of there. So, you want to get this though, and you want to feed this, have this facing you, facing this piece right here. So you get this, and this ratchets this way, like this, and that also comes in this way. So this will kind of swing out, and this will ratchet over. So get that like that, and as you're doing that, you can get this piece here, and kind of swing this through. Oh, you can't do that just yet. So you gotta have this up like this. Swing all this through just like this. And pull this through like so. Down there. Okay. Now once we're there, I wanna take this and we wanna situate all this. Uh, let me get some stuff out of the way here. It's bothering me. Situate all this down like this. I'm gonna fold these down like this. We can get these locked in. There's not much clearance here to do this. So you kind of have to be mindful of what you're doing here. Get that down like that. This will close down right here. But down here, you want to make sure that this is just all pushed in. So we can get this. We can kind of start to work it down on that ratchet joint right there. And then just get this just like that. Just enough to get it out of the way and lay flush. You want to make sure that it's not sitting up higher than this, so that way it doesn't affect it when it's sitting there uh, on the table or whatever you're putting it on. So that's one piece. And now I'm going to do this right now, um, but you can fold this piece over and lock these into place, so that way this doesn't flip over anymore. And then work on this side right here. So I'm going to go ahead, we're going to do that. I'm going to flip this up like that. Open this up down here at the bottom. And we're going to take all this and flip this out and then again make sure that's facing this piece like that and you want to get this and feed this through just like that and you know to be quite honest and I'm surprised it's not giving me as much trouble as it did earlier today earlier today was just being such a pain in the neck and this wouldn't for the life of me would not want to be friendly with me so I'm glad it's not doing it right now right now it's making it seem like it's easy so maybe that's because I always say that Things go opposite of the way I want them to happen. And so that I said that it was going to be a pain, it decided not to be. So we'll see. All right, so get that down like that. Again, just get this piece like this. And ratchet that down. So I ratchet it down just like this. Like so. Right there. Okay. That's good enough. So kind of just get them again. You just want to get them to where 
their land. This one's not too much. We gotta push her some more. This one should, this one's kinda squared up here. This one I gotta get squared up right there. So just keep ratcheting it over until you get it squared up. As much as possible. That should be good. All right, I'm gonna put one piece down. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera. Uh, since you guys already saw that way that was done. All right, so we're gonna get these pieces here like this. And just right here, you can see, get over here. I'm sorry, I'm hitting my camera. I'm trying not to, but I am, so I apologize. But this is gonna go right here. That's gonna peg into there. So we all snaps together like that. So let's get that. We're gonna situate this guy right there. Come along this side right here and situate this one like that. Get the styrofoam piece out of the way because it just fell. You go there, you go there, and there is the tracks. And boy howdy, those tracks are super, super long. We'll show whenever I get it transformed just how long the uh, tracks are. So, all right, this piece here. Now this is what's gonna make up uh, part of his stand for his rocket ship. So take these and fold these pieces in like this. Fold in, fold in. Fold this in. And the cool thing about this is they include these little rubber grips on the bottom. So that way, um, you know, he doesn't slip and fall. So that's cool that they include those rubber grips. And nice detailing work down here. These are almost like rocket uh, boosters, so he can like blast off and fly. So really cool. Take this down like that. That's gonna come down like so. Flip this open like this. And that's one of them. Do something over here. Grab this one here. Again, just flipping the foot, or the heel spur, I should say. Hold these guys in like this. Pull that down like so. Flip that open. And we're gonna take these two pieces and I actually put one on backwards, I'm sure. Yeah, because why wouldn't I? Because if not, it would go like that. So let's flip this guy around like this. All right. Take these and these are gonna go, but they're gonna sit on Right here. And actually I might have them backwards again. Let me double check this. These have to go like this. And this one. Like this. There we go. Okay. I want to make sure that these four are lined up such that they are close together. Okay. So we're gonna take this piece. Let me angle my camera down a little bit so we can see better. So I take this. And those four right there are going to go and lock into right there and actually come this way. So we can do actually make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Just take this, peg those in like that. Take this one, peg that in like that. And there we've got the stand for his rocket ship. And we'll just put that situate this sitting right in the center of this piece right here and get his rocket ship now on his rocket ship we have and it's on this side right here this piece here is going to flip open and you pull this out like so and then right here there's two little tabs you can pull on and extend like the little uh, ladder ramp so that's neat you can put that sitting that right inside there and actually, I said we we're going to mess with him last, but i he's already in his mode, so never mind. And there he is. So there he is in his little rocket ship mode there. And that is really neat. Let me pick this camera up a little bit. Quite large uh, and really nice looking. So I'm going to bring in my tape measure here, and we're going to show the size. Let me get this tank off so that way I can show you the size. Well, so we're going to go from this point back here all the way to the same thing on that side over there. So starting over there, and I know you won't be able to see it, but coming right over here, it is about 
Let me get this out of the way real quick. So from that end to this end right here, about 42 and a half inches long. From that end of the track to this end of the track. Or I think if that's in centimeters, it's like 108 centimeters long. So really long. And then as far as the width, from there to there, you're looking at about 20 and a half uh, inches long, or let's see, what is that? 52 centimeters, if I'm reading that right. So there you go, so long, just a super long um, mode there, and really cool. It's, it's awesome, I dig it. Let's put that there. The tank, now we talk about the tank. The tank is awesome. And to show the size of the tank, again, just we'll go measure them. From here to there, uh, let's see if I can get that where we can see better. It's about 10 and a half inches long, right there, as you can see. So that's a good size. And then the width of him, going from the thickest to the thickest here, that's about six inches wide. So really just huge tank. And I'm gonna put him back up here. And again, I apologize if a lot of it's not on camera there, but I'm trying my best. Uh, just because when I did Trypticon, I tried my best. And this guy is quite larger than Trypticon when Trypticon is in his little base mode. So I'm bringing some figures so we can kind of compare the size of this guy with. Now speaking of Trypticon, there he is. So there's Trypticon, Time to Return Trypticon, next to uh, this beautiful, gorgeous hunk in front of us. So that looks pretty cool. That's probably, I would think that's probably right. Trypticon's a big guy, so him coming up to um, Omega that way. Uh, probably is about right. So that is really cool. I like the way that looks there. Uh, let me get some other figures here that we can try them out with. All right, let's get Trypticon out of the way now. Trypticon, thank you very much. And let's bring in, here is my G2 MP Sideswipe. Just to kind of show how he would look there on the Masterpiece. Going along the tracks there. Uh, let's see who else. Let's leave him back here. Why not? Let's see, here's some more, or rather not some more, but just here are some little legend size figures right there. Smaller ones right there. Uh, the little Titan Master guys right there. That looks cool. I can see them going up like that. Um, here's a Combiner Wars guy right here. And I forget his name, but who cares because he wasn't the real one anyways. He was just kind of a stand-in. And then some little Titan Masters. You know, they can... I'm up here. Hey, we're gonna go inside the spaceship and have some fun. So, let's see where they go. To just kind of show you size comparison, just how big this guy is. He's a pretty good size dude. Uh, here he's next to one of the. This is the uh, Legends class jets, secret jets right there. So obviously, shoots him out of the sky. He dies. So just to kind of show you, you can get a lot of playability out of this. Uh, this piece right here. It's really cool All right now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the tank what it looks like Let me get all these guys off of there. I'll be right back with you All right, so as you saw the playability is really fun. I mean you got so many things you can do with this thing I like the way that's opened up right there like you saw I put some of the little Titan Master guys They can sit inside there um, and have a good old time. So that's awesome. Uh, the tank mode is really cool. It's really large and The one thing back here you can flip the head around that way the face isn't showing and let me open up this piece here so you, obviously it's just the back of it there that's where we're trying to light for the head gimmick uh, this one on this one here was kind of not really working uh, there it is now but whenever I turn the head around the eyes would sometimes shut off but they decided to stay on so I'm showing you that right now but there are the eyes right there with the lights on and let's see with the lights off so the eyes are a nice blue color, but with the light on, they really pop. So that looks really cool. But instead of, like I said, having the head showing, you can just spin that around and get the uh, face hidden away. Now, it would have been cool if they would have done something here to make it look more than just like the back of his head. Maybe if they could have made it look like 
a control panel or something that would have been neat. I think DX9 is doing that where it looks like a maybe like a control panel. So, but still not too bad. It's better than having a face sitting there. Uh, on this here, there's a lot of nice detailing here. Let's close that down. Uh, we see all the details on this guy right there. Really, really cool. The cannon does extend out all the way. Let's get that down here. There we go. Get the cannon does extend out like that. The turret does move up, down, all the way around. And this is all going to be his uh, head articulation. It does have that fans toy squeak uh, that we know with fans toys. But it's a really big tank, and this thing is pretty heavy. Uh, I want to see it all said and done. I think him when he's in his robot mode, and I'm going to pull out my bathroom scale uh, to check it, but I think he's close to 10, uh, 10 pounds uh, when he's all said and done. So. Uh, really neat. This is just another little bonus where they had this, so that way that hides that gap right there. You can probably put like one little Titan Master inside there or two laying down if you want to for some strange reason. Maybe there are stowaways and they want to go inside there. But there's that. Good looking detail on that. On the bottom here, and actually this is what I forgot to do. So let's do this. This actually, put your finger inside here, there's a little place to grab it. Pull that. That comes up and closes down, and that gives you the tires for the tracks. So there's the bottom. These are rubber treads, and they do move. Um, they don't roll on the track. It go runs more off of this here, and it rolls okay. It's not going to be 100%, but it rolls decently. Um, and then on this, you want to take these, flip this up. Let's get them up here so we can see better flip this piece up like that and you want to full pull this out just like so and you can collapse that back in and then you have him some uh, weaponry right there as well so still on this side here flip this piece up fold that over like that push that back and there you go so there he is actually transformed correctly uh, I forgot to pull these out and didn't have those flipped over on the bottom there but he does roll decently, I guess. I mean, he can roll down that track. Um, gets stuck a little bit there, but he rolls. Uh, on my table here, does he roll? Let's see. He does because of those bottom pieces there. So and you really can't see that, but let's see if I can't show you. He rolls on the table as well due to the two, not the treads, but the, uh, the two rollers at the bottom there. So really cool looking tank mode. All right, from here, um, let's go ahead and get him into his robot mode. Uh, you know what, though, before that, let's just go ahead, because I like the way he looks, I'm going to just kind of take my camera up and show his whole uh, set mode like this. And really what I would like to do, and you know I just might, I think since Tripticon made his little showing here, I'm going to put Tripticon into his robot mode, or I'm sorry, into his uh, little base mode there and show him off uh, with this guy. But let's just get up and take a close look at everything on here. Uh, that large track right there looks really cool. Let me zoom out there. Just to show you just how big it is. Maybe that tank is too big for it, but I don't know. Maybe that's right. Uh, I never owned the G1 uh, version of him, so I can't say for sure if it was that big or not. But I think that looks really cool. I mean, it's awesome. Look at that. Really cool. So, you know, let's get Tripscon out and let's put him into his base mode there. And take a look at that. All right, that was a bit of a task, but there they are together. And I kind of, I mean, Tripticon is there, but I had to kind of pull them, not extend out all the way, just because of uh, limited table space. So move my lamps out of the way here, so we can kind of see. But there you can see the size of the guys next to each other, and they look cool. Now Tripticon is a large bot. Um, but still, that Omega Supreme is just ridiculously huge. So, it looks really cool. They look, look, they look really good together. Um, same with Metroplex. I don't have the table space to put Metroplex up here, or I would, uh, to show all three of them. But, uh, you get the idea, again, just how large, uh, this Omega Supreme is in that little mode there. So, alright, now we're gonna go ahead and get him transformed into his robot mode and finish up. 
And before we do it, and I know I said we're going to transform him, but I had to bring in Torvald Debbie. That looks cool. I don't know, again, if Debbie's supposed to be that tall when he's in his base mode. Uh, that is a rocket ship, after all. But that looks cool. So Debbie's like, ha, 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 you're so puny. And Omega is like, I'm about to blast you, son. But when he gets into his robot mode, he's going to kill you, Debbie. So that looks cool, though. I like the way that looks right there. That is from his perspective, looking up at Constructor there. So that looks really cool. So I had to bring you that real quick just to kind of show you. I thought that looked cool. All right, now let's go ahead and get him transformed so we can see what he looks like. All right, I'm going to start first with the tank. So grab the tank here. Take him off. He's a heavy guy and have my arm stretched out in front of me, so it's probably going to be a little tiring. But we're going to go ahead and flip this piece down like that. Flip his head like this, all the way down like that. You can just do that just like that for right now. It's fine. Take this piece, flip it open. Just get this stuff up out of the way for right now. And I want to go ahead and we're going to rotate these uh, out like that. That's where the legs are going to get joined into. So nice strong ratchets on him. I don't have a problem with strong ratchets sometimes, all depending on where they are putting them. So take this piece here, right underneath here, grab a fingernail, pull that down like that, flip that up. And that goes into place like this. This is going to be his front portion, portion right here. So come around here, and we want to go ahead and lift this up like this. Take these, open these up, and let's go ahead and get these, flip these around. Like that. Same thing over here. Flip this up, pull that around, and come on. Get inside there. Take these, we're going to open up this, just kind of... Pull them out to the side like this. Do the same thing over here. Pull this out to the side like so. And this is all die cast metal down here, so that's cool. And we're gonna take this top section, which is this portion here, we're gonna rotate it. So rotate that around like that. That way you have that in the front like this. You can then close these back up. Uh, well, first, actually, let's do this. Let's go take these, flip these around, close that down like that, take this, this will untab right there, bring that around like that, tab that into place. Then we take this and we can tab all this down back just like that. So we got one done there and same thing on this side here. So let's take this piece, fold it over, close that, take that, flip that around, close that up, and then tab all this back together just like so. That's going to tab into there. And then we gotta close this portion up right here. So take that, slide that in there. And there is the body portion uh, minus the head. Let's take that. Let's rotate this face around like that. And let's close that up. And let's put this off to the side for right now. Next piece. Let's go ahead and do this. This will be easy. Take this, disconnect the two ports. Ports, I meant parts. And then just close this up here, slide that in like that, flip this section up into there, like that, close this up like this, and right here you just want to open this up just like that, and flip this piece out like this, and again, nice strong ratcheting there, and we can just kind of just right here, using our finger, shove this piece up, so that makes that flush right there. Close that one up, we got one arm done. Other arm, same thing. Pull it open like this. Pull this piece out like so. And then again, just push this out. That way it makes that flush right there. Close that up. And then you can leave that out if you wanted to, but it's supposed to go in. So we're just gonna take these, unpeg these like so. And push that back down. And then again, peg them back, which like we said earlier, Pegs don't really hold in that well, so it is what it is. Take that in like that, and there we go. We got the second arm done. Backpack. Take this. We're gonna unpeg the feet and we'll work on the feet here in a minute. Put these off to the side. 
Take the backpack. All right. Open this up. Open that up. These, you're going to rotate them around. So rotate this like that. That way, now it's facing this way. Same thing over here. Rotate this. And on this one, for some reason, this cake piece keeps popping off. This one doesn't. So I don't know if it's just that these little pegs are smaller than these holes by a little bit or what, but it keeps popping off for some reason. So there's that. Um, hopefully that's not going to happen on a final because that'd be kind of dumb. But rotate this around like so, all the way around. And you see what I mean? That keeps popping off like that. All right, so now we're going to take these, we're going to pull them out like this. You can just close these down for right now, it's fine. And then these parts are going to come down like so. And these are making up the tops of his forearms right there. Or forearms to the biceps. I don't know why I said forearms. And there's the backpack. So there's that. Pull that off to the side. And the legs. Close that up like that. Flip this around like this. Got to pull these. Open these tabs up like that. Just like that. And we're getting those situated so we can leave that one like that. It's fine. Same thing over here. Rotate it around. Flip this up. Open these up like this. Close this piece up like so. And there's that. And we're going to start pulling this. We're just going to unpeg these pieces like this. All four sides. Close the wings back up, which again is really easy. Close it up like that. There's one wing. Here is the other wing. Like that. And they will peg in. So you got two pegs right here, like kind of peg rectangles that are going to those slots right there. And right here as well. So actually four against four of those. So they all tab in together and they stay together pretty well. So that's cool. All right, back to the legs. Now, let's hope that I don't have issues this time. Remember I said earlier I was surprised that they weren't giving me trouble. Now watch them give me trouble wanting to go back into the leg mode. I wouldn't doubt it. Just because that's the way things happen uh, when I do reviews. And I think you guys have seen that by now, for those that have watched my reviews. So take this, we're gonna get all this stuff, and we wanna just feed it back through the way we did the first time. Like so. And that one went through pretty pretty easily, I'm surprised. That's good, come on. Flip around and get this piece, well, I'm off camera there. Flip around. Get this piece, okay, come on. Let's do it this way. Pull this down like that. I'm gonna flip this around inside here so that way it doesn't give me that much trouble. But this has to sit up like inside here. Flush down like that, just like that. And you close this down like that. And then we'll work on this part here in a little bit. I just wanna get these parts flipped over. Just take that again, push this part out like this. Open that up, I'll let gravity do the work for me there. Pull this piece up like so. And take this portion. And let's get this guy flipped back inside and fed through. So I say, if it wants to not be a jerk to me. There we go. Flip that around like that. And just get it fed through right there. Pull that through. All the way across, come down here, and I gotta get this stuff fed through. There's just not very okay. So, the issue is on this part, there's not much room for clearance right there, as you can see. Now, this portion here, so you have to do it just right to get that. Just I keep getting off camera there, but just like so. Okay, so we saw that, like that. Fold this down like that, and then get that flipped over, and that'll work just like so. And come here, and again, you want to take this portion, and that's got to feed on top of that, and sit up just so I head on the side like that. Okay, and close this up. And I apologize if I got off camera there, but uh, it's a little bit of a big dude. So, okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take away this portion right here, open that up. And that's going to let us close this. Now, keep in mind, this will be the back of the leg right here. These two yellow pieces are the back of the leg there. And so when you're putting these pieces together, 
this portion with the back, uh, or the yellow rather, goes with that yellow arrow right there. And this portion with these four like rectangular pieces go into the front. So this has to be flipped over to this side and that to that side there, okay? But before doing all that, we gotta put his foot in. So I'm gonna grab one of the feet. And I don't think it matters which foot, because I think it doesn't really matter which leg either. So you grab one of the feet and just take this. And when you open this up, you're gonna see this right here. And then on that side, you have a run right there. So these here, these here are gonna sit inside these slots there. So you just make sure obviously you have the foot facing the front. So this is the front of the foot there. Uh, we said that's the back. So take that, just slot that over top there. And take this, fold this over like that, and make sure that goes into there. Now sometimes this likes to slip and fall, so you gotta make sure that's pushed up. And then get this. All the while making sure that this piece, which is this die cast metal piece, is gonna go kinda inside there. So get that like that. Get this piece up like so, and quit falling out. All right, let's do that again, come on. Get in there, like so. Get this section, flip this up, like so. Keeping this down there, so it being a pain. And I knew something was gonna be a pain to me, because like I said, it always does. Portion here. Okay. okay. All right. Take that around, flip it up into there, keep that open. The whole leg thing is real, real finicky and just really not my favorite part of this whole transformation. There we go, that's gonna go like that. Take that in right there. Make sure again that's inside there. And you wanna tap everything together like that. And then that's gonna sit right on there, keeping this section closed up. And I hope that showed very well on camera there. So now, you think, oh, okay, I'm done. But you're not, because again, like I said, this has to go around to the back and that's gotta come around to the front. So you wanna take this portion here and just, you gotta, Maneuver them to where, let's see if I can show it here. This portion right here. Let me see my ends there. So right here, this is gonna like swivel that way. And you gotta work the swivel and the hinge. So you see how that kind of goes like that. So you do the same thing over here. So the swivel hinge motion like that. So see, I use that ratchet this here and swivel that around like that same thing on this side right there so this is the right leg with the opening right here and this is the left leg here all right let's pull this other one out like this okay so we're going to take his body and want to open up these right here on that side and that side right there And inside the thigh, you have this one here. Let me zoom in there. You see that there. You have this piece right here. That's going to sit inside this back piece right here. It's going to slide in through there. And then you have this one here on the front that's right here. And that one is going to slide into the front right there, thus locking that into place. Let's go ahead and take that. Slide that in there, bring this up like so, slide that one in like that, and then tab everything in together like this, okay? So same thing over here, take that one, slide that one into place like that, and this one into place like that, and now we're getting there. So, I'm way zoomed in, all right. I'm going to pull him out just a little bit. I'm going to pull this stuff down like that right here on the back. Let's see if I can situate this better. Alright, I had to raise it up some more because uh, this guy's getting tall. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull this down like this. And that goes up like that. And so, on the back here, 
You want to just tab this into there right there. That's going to keep this tab in the place right there. And then here, you're going to grab what's going to be the backpack here. And you want to take this, and at first I couldn't figure out how to do it. Because uh, I couldn't get this tabbed in right here. I thought I'd just put it on like this and then tab those down, but it wouldn't work. So you want to get these first. And there are these slots right here, one here, one there, that are going to be tabbed in with these here. So like I said, I first put this whole piece on and tried to tab that in, it wouldn't work. So then I took it off and I was like, well, what if I do it this way? And then lo and behold, it worked. Just take these and get these tabbed in first, like this. And like that. And it'll kind of sit down onto his back, just like so. And then back here on the back, you want to take, there's a tab here, and that's going to go into a slot that's right there. So you just take that, that's going to tab in, just like that. In this whole backpack piece, just tabbed in. Nice. So just make sure everything is plugged in. And there is that piece there. I'll put this back so it's kind of funky. Alright, now the arms. So the arms, you're going to take this and just open up this piece right here. Now if you look here, this piece, uh, this one, let me zoom in there. You can kind of see this right here is flat. And so you want to make sure, if you have the, the non-flat side, which is this one right here, you can see there's a groove in there. If you have that face in the front, that's fine. You want to put it on this way. Because this piece right here, this tab is going to sit there. So I'm going to leave that one like that and this one like that to kind of show you. So you take this, slide this on the back, just like so, and then close this up like that, and then spin that around like that. I think that's the first time we've had a bicep swivel that has ratchets. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong or not. But if they're this way, you take this, same thing, and you slide it on this way, and then you close it up without dropping it. Close it up in the back. Come on. It's probably easier the other way for me. There we go. Slide that in like that. Close it up into the back. And he is almost complete. And that was way off frame. But anyways, so there he is. The last thing we got to do is we're going to take these wings and we're going to situate them on. So you can put either side, doesn't matter, because they have the same kind of uh, sculpting. So what you do is right here, and I don't know how well that light's picking it up. You can kind of see it right there. The wings are going to sit right inside there. So you take these two and you're going to slide them in just like so. Now it might have been cool if they would have somehow managed to uh, make it like the G1 toy where the G1 toy had to sit like that. So that would have been kind of cool if they would have been able to do that. But they don't fit in there like that because there's only two slots side by side. There's nowhere for them to kind of sit in like that. So um, take those again and just plug those in like that. And there he is. And that was a while, but he is together. He is put nicely. And he is awesome. He is big. He is super tall. So let me kind of situate my camera to show him. And I'm going to bring in Metroplex and a few of the other big guys here just to show his height. So stick with me. Alright, so there he is next to the other two Titans in Metroplex and Fort Max. And you can see that he is taller uh, than both of them. Obviously because of the, um, the tracks there making like his wings, he's taller. But even at the head, uh, Fort, Mac looks, Fort Max looks like he's taller by a little bit. Um, but the Omega looks like he's taller than the Metroplex. So I'm going to get my tape measure and just measure him from foot to head and see what we come at. So foot to head, he is about 23 inches tall right there. 22 and 3 quarters of 23 inches tall. Uh, to the back of the little wings there, if you will. Coming in at, get out of the way, Metroplex. About 26 inches from the bottom to the top there. I think it's 25 and a half when I had him on a little level surface. I don't think my table is 100% level. So let me check this side here. But I think it was 25 and a half inches. So we'll call it 25 and a half to 26 inches from the foot to the top right here. 
So there he is next to those Titans, and he looks awesome. Bring in this poor, poor, poor little guy. And he's still not as impressive. So poor Trypticon, you don't look that great. Sorry, bud. Now earlier I mentioned how I believe that uh, he doesn't scale well with Fortress Maximus and Metroplex from the Hasbro line. But I think this scale right here looks great. Because in the cartoon, there is that one scene uh, that I remember anyways, the one where they're kind of, Devi runs up to him and they attacks him and Devastator's about that size to him. So I think that scale works well. The Torwell Devi, I think looks awesome compared to him. I think uh, Fan Stories was supposed to come out with their own Devastator. So if they in fact do, it'll be interesting to see how tall they make him compared to uh, this right here. But I think that works well. Uh, looks really cool. And let me get Devastator's hands down. Or Constructor. Come call me the Devastator, but he's Constructor. Just to show what he looks like next to him standing up. Let me fix this foot here. Get everything here situated. So there is Constructor. And here is Terminus. And again, I think that works well. Uh, you can see just how much taller he is. And again, I think that scale works really, really well. So let's pull Constructor off of there. And there he is next to some more uh, fence toys items as well as MP10 in the robot mode. So again, just showing how massive uh, this guy is while he's standing up. And not only is he tall, but he's also just wide. He's a wide bot. So, all right. Now we look at the size comparisons. Let's look it over and talk about his articulation. So the head does come around and it squeaks, but it comes around. Um, can tilt it back some a little bit from that transformation joint. Uh, so he can look up, but he doesn't really look down because obviously there's no room for that. Plus this piece would get in the way. The shoulders do come all the way around. They got nice strong ratchet there. They come out right here. Again, that bicep swivel, ratchety. He's got an elbow bend. He does have waist articulation right there. The legs, you do have that where they can be straight or they can hinge back like that. He's got his leg can come out to the side, not much. And they can go back. Again, not much. And he's a big dude, so it's hard to show off all this articulation. And that strong ratchet right there on the hips, which needs to be because his legs are heavy. So it comes up that much right there. The knee does bend about that much right there. He does have a toe tilt like we showed earlier, right side there. And then he does have the light-up features. So the light-up features, again, like I showed you earlier, you can just open up this portion like this and get to this one back here. Flip the switch right there. Turn that on like that. So you got the light-up right there. On the head again, flip up the mask like that. Turn it around. Turn this one on. I suppose you could probably reach it from back here which I'm pretty sure I can, just back here, just feel for it. Yeah, you don't really have to spin his head around. You can get it and you can turn it on and off right there. So there's the eyes. Now this was the only one you actually have to take this piece off. There's nowhere for you to get to it besides pulling this off. So you just spin this piece open like this. Take that off. And the switch is right here at the bottom of the light, or on the side of the light right here. So turn that on. Just get that. Plug that back in, and you've got that. Now, I wish they would have made it easier to get to that one, but they didn't. So, uh, there's one more light-up feature, and it's right here in the chest. So, let's pull this open like this. This flips open right here, and you turn this light on, and that's going to light up right there. And that's going to be for the MP10 matrix, which I happen to have right here. So you put that inside like that. Why they did it, I don't know, but it's cool. I think it looks awesome. Zoom in on that, and you can see the matrix right there. So it's kind of bright in here, so you won't see all the lights, but the eyes look cool. We saw that earlier, uh, how the eyes light up, and it looks really cool. And I do love that face sculpt. Let's get in on that. 
I think they did a good job on that face sculpt right there. Looks really neat. Let's open this up. So I think that face sculpt looks good. Looks like the G1 cartoon in my mind. So good job, Fans Toys, on that. All the lighted features are really neat. Let's get back out, pan out here. Let's talk about that extra piece. So I told you this one here. If you didn't want one color over the other, all you gotta do is simply pull this up and that twist out. You can take this one off and you can put this one on in its place. So again, you just take that, pull that down, and there you have that like that. And now that's the translucent one. So down here on this portion, if you don't like that gray like that, that's where this piece comes into play. And you just take this portion like this, and it's a tight fit, but this will fit right onto there. So you take that, and just push that up against there, and now you have, if I can get it, and that one keeps popping off for some reason, but it's just on a little, kind of a ball pick there. So do that, and then there you go. So now you got that, covering up that whole piece right there. So there he is. Let's take a look at his back real quick, and then we'll wrap it up. A lot of nice detail on this guy. Uh, the back looks cool right there. You can see where his like jet booster packs are right down in there. Nice detail on the back right there. Looking down at the legs. And he looks cool. So, is this guy worth picking up? Uh, my honest opinion is yes. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, you know I love Fans Toys. I love their items. But I'm not saying that from a Fans Toys uh, fan. Does he have things that needs to be worked on or maybe that aren't perfect? Of course. Um, you know, they really should hopefully figure out this right here with those tabs. Um, I don't like how the knee was, if I'm being honest. When you bend this, you got this no, no knee right there, big old gap. So that was ugly, but again, we'll find faults with the DX9 one as well. So it's just up to you. The reason I like Fans Toys is because I know that they have quality stuff uh, time and time again. I think I've mentioned before, there's only two figures of Fans Toys that I just thought were just kind of blah. And that was their uh, Weird Wolf and their uh, Perceptor. I thought those were just kind of blah, just basic. Uh, I would even go as far as to say that their Reflector wasn't all that. Uh, I think they were just kind of too basic for what they were. But they stepped it up a lot with uh, the Insecticons I thought were great. I thought Phoenix was awesome, and I think this guy is awesome as well. So I will be picking this one up for my collection uh, when he does come out. And hopefully I can review Gabriel to show him. And hopefully when I do get to review Gabriel, if I do, I can have both of these guys and put a side-by-side -side comparison. That way you guys can decide on what it is that you want to get for your collection. Uh, I think that is it. If I skipped anything or missed anything, I apologize. Uh, I know this was a long video, so if you stayed with me through the end, I do appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can pre-order this guy from. And uh, if you will, please share this video with your friends. And if you haven't already, uh, like this video, subscribe. And until next time, you guys, thanks for watching and stay safe.